no respiraba. No, no me Hello, good evening. <coughs> good evening, teacher. Good evening, how are you? I fine, thank and you? Really good. We are just good evening. For, good evening. We are just waiting for the other participants to be in the uh, meeting. So we are going to wait some minutes and then we are, we are going to start this session number two. Okay, we are going to start and then the other participants will uh, join the meeting, but now we are going to start because of the time. So yesterday we were talking about, let me share the screen. Uh, we were talking about two part verbs. We were talking about that the verbs that form two parts and they are called like phrasal verbs and we have some examples. In this case, we were talking about the common verbs with their most frequent particles. So we have a list of some of these verbs that uh, work with a particle and change their meaning when we are using them in this way. So we have just four examples. Now we are going to add some examples more then we are going to uh, do an exercise about the two-part verbs. Then we are going to uh, change the topic and we are going to develop the new topic. That is the pronunciation, the stress in two-part verbs. We are going to listen uh, an explanation or we are going to listen the stress in some words 
Then we are going to read some information about this dress in the two part verbs. And at the end of the session, we are going to talk about models, can, cool, will, and will you mind. So we have some information to develop in this session. So we are going to start with the other uh, examples of these two path verbs. We have the number five. There is, we have here could, the verb could, and we have the particles, back, down, off, and up. So, Again, we are going to write the uh, meaning in Spanish about these uh, phrasal verbs. We have the first one and that is could back. And in Spanish, this means recortar o reducir. And it is talking about uh, do something with um, less uh, frequency or doing something less. In this case, we are going to have here the specification, hacer algo con menos frecuencia, o reducir la cantidad. Then we have the number two, that is, Cut down. That in Spanish, this means talar, acortar, limitar. And this is talking about um, the size of something or um, uh, calls uh, some um, actions with this. Uh, this um, when we are performing something, we cause uh, to fall something down. In this case, it is talking about reducir de tamaño. Or hacer que se caiga. Then we have the number three that is cut off. Cut off in Spanish means cortar, interrumpir. And the specification is remove something of, um, using something else. Remover algo usando otra cosa o en este caso algo que esté afilado. something sharp, or parar de proveer. Then we have the last one, that is cut up. And in Spanish, this means cortar o trocear. Divide something in pieces. Dividir algo en piezas. The main uh, meaning of these uh, phrasal verbs, it's the could, es cortar. Tiene que ver, ¿verdad? Este phrasal verb con la acción de cortar, de remover. So in this case, when we are using uh, the um, uh, particles in the action to could, to remove, to take something off. So in this case, we have some examples of these uh, actions and the specification because maybe when we uh, search for the uh, meaning, we can have troubles uh, understanding the difference between some of the phrasal verbs.
Cuando ponemos las especificaciones, esto nos ayuda a entender mejor el uso de estos phrasal verbs, porque eh, la base de ellos es cortar o remover. Y si lo buscamos, cuando tratamos de traducirlos, nos puede salir como el mismo, ¿verdad? La, la misma traducción de cortar o remover, pero con las especificaciones ya sabemos para qué tipo de acciones las vamos a utilizar. Then we have the number six. That is a give. The verb give with the particles away, back, and off. And we have here the number one, give away. This is a, a phrase of word that is very common and we can uh, see this phrase in uh, social media because it is talking about uh, give something, do uh, maybe um, we can uh, put some uh, games on social media so we can see this uh, phrase that is very, very common in nowadays. Then we have give back. And we have give off. So in the first one, we have the uh, meaning in Spanish that is regalar or obsequiar. And in the specification of this appraisal verb, we have that is dar algo de manera gratuita. Como regalo o donación. It's very common to see this kind of a uh, gift in social media because um, some influencers or uh, uh, people that work in that um, in that the media, uh, it's they have a lot of uh, products that the uh, the um, the the people give them and and also they do this kind of uh, games or uh, giveaways where they um, give people some uh, free gift if they do something for them, maybe give a like or make a comment or something else. So this is very, very common, this uh, phrasal verb in the social media. Number two, give back, it's devolver. Then give off, that means desprender. Then we have number seven. That is hand. And we are not talking about the, the part of the body. We are talking about uh, give something. Hand, and we have uh, the particles back, down, in, on, out, and over. And we have number one, hand back, then hand down, then we have hand in, and on, and on and out and hand over. So in the first one, and the meaning in Spanish is regresar. The number two, it says dictar o bajar. In this case, when we are using hand down, it's uh, talking about to give something to someone younger or uh, something that is in the line of profession. Or it's uh, say something, especially um, a judgment or a sentence 
formal or public. In this case, cuando estamos hablando de hand down, que dice dictar o bajar, en este caso estamos hablando de pasar algo a una persona más joven o en una línea de sucesión. Eh, también es de anunciar algo, especialmente que tiene que ver con juicio, ¿verdad? con algo legal de, o una sentencia de forma eh, que sea eh, público o de forma eh, que sea algo bastante, bastante formal. So in this case, we are talking about uh, something that is that has to be with the politics or something like that. Then we have the number three, hand in. That means entregar, presentar. In this case, we are talking about to give something to a person with authority for their attention. En la primera estamos hablando de dar algo a una persona joven en una línea de sucesión, en in this case, estamos hablando de dar algo a una persona con autoridad para su atención. So the first one is give something to a younger person. And in the second one is to give something with a person with authority. Then we have the next one, hand on, that is pasar o transmitir. And this is talking about uh, give something to the next person in the line, uh, give something or give the responsibility of something to someone else. En este caso, no estamos hablando de línea de sucesión o de lo más joven o de la autoridad, sino es darle la responsabilidad de algo a alguien más. Then we have a handout, that is a repartir, And it's talking about sharing with a group of people something. En esto de repartir es darle a un grupo de personas algo que nosotros tenemos. And in the last one, we have a handover that is in Spanish, entregar o ceder. Entregar o ceder. Then we have the number eight. That is knock down. We're just uh, make a list of 10 uh, phrasal verbs. And this is the number eight. We have two left. So don't uh, worry because we are going to end this list in the number 10. So we have knock. And we have down, out, and over. And the number one, knock down, means derribar o demoler. The second one, knock out, means noquear. And in the last one, knock over means tirar. Number nine, in the number nine, we have leave. Leave behind and out. We have the number one, leave behind. That means dejar atrás. And the last one, leave out. That means dejar fuera. And the last one of this list, number 10, it's left. And we have down, in, off, and out. Number one, let down. That means decepcionar. 
Le tienen. Dejar entrar. Let off. Dejar. In, in this case, imponer. Then it's another uh, meaning of this uh, first over. Imponer. And the last one, let out. That means dejar salir. So uh, to make a, a, a quick review of this topic, uh, when we are talking about two-part verbs or phrasal verbs, we are using the base form or the base is um, a verb, but we are adding something with the verb. And that is important to remember that when we are using these uh, phrasal verbs, we are changing their meanings. Algo bien importante con estos phrasal verbs es que cuando los utilizamos juntos, um, le cambiamos uh, totalmente el significado. Uh, in some cases, it uh, remains something about the, the, the main part of the verb, but in some cases, it's completely different. Siempre tienen algunos en la esencia del verbo original, pero otros cambian totalmente todo eso, ¿verdad? Y se convierten en algo extra. So, then, now that we have a list of 10 uh, phrasal verbs, we can make some exercises. And I have, uh, let me see, I have 12 sentences that are um, like a scramble sentence. They are in a wrong order. And you are, um, you are going to read the sentences. Then you are going to uh, find the correct order of these sentences. So, Tengo 12 oraciones, las voy a ir poniendo desordenadas. Ustedes tienen que leerlas y encontrar el orden correcto de las oraciones. Voy a dejar el espacio para que me vayan ayudando a corregir esas oraciones. So, take your time, see the sentences, and then we are going to correct them. Vamos a empezar, voy a empezar a escribirlas. Lo que voy a hacer es lo siguiente. I'm going to do it like this. I'm going to use... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to use nine spaces for these sentences. Then I'm going to write part by part, and then you are going to help me when they are all writing. Um, you are going to tell me what are the parts that are here in the incorrect form or in the incorrect uh, order, then we are going to write it in the correct order to find where the phrasal verbs are. So the first one. I have the first one. And remember, in this exercise, we have a one pattern with these uh, two part verbs, that is the verb, the particle, and the object. Tenemos un orden específico para estas oraciones, que es el de el que estuvimos revisando ayer de una sola forma, eh, donde dice que va el verbo más la partícula más el objeto. Quiere decir, Que en este caso tiene que ir siempre el verbo unido a la partícula. No lo vamos a separar, sino que tienen que ir unidos. Y en muchos de los casos estas no llevan objeto. So, number two.
Okay, let's see. We are going to do the first one to um, help you with the sentences. In the first one, we have up. Usually, you get you what time. So, we are going to start with the WH word that is the beginning of the questions. Eh, sabemos que al inicio, ¿verdad? En este caso, utilizamos la WH word o las palabras que empiezan con WH to make a question. So, in this case, the first part, and I am going to change the color of the words. Let me see. I'm going to do it like this. And we have what time, that is the beginning of the sentence. Then we have the auxiliary do. What time do, then we have the uh, subject. What time do you, then we have here usually. Yes, it's good. Then, get out, get up, get up. Yes, get up. That in this case, what is the uh, the phrasal verb or the two part verb in this sentence? Get up. Get up. Non it's non separable. It's a it's a non separable phrasal verb. Yes, yes. In this case, it's not separable because they are together at the end of the sentence. And all of these uh, phrasal verbs that we are going to use in this sentence are unseparable. Todas los uh, phrasal verbs que vamos a utilizar ahorita no se separan, van juntos. So we have the first one. Then I will give you a time to uh, think about the uh, order of the next uh, sentences. And we have one, two, three, four, and five. And then when we uh, have the order of these five, we are going to continue with the order. In this case, we have just six in this space and we have six more. So think about the order of the sentence. We are going to do the, uh, we are going to write the order um, behind or uh, in the next uh, line for the sentences, then we are going to do it, uh, the other six. Vamos a hacer estas primero, estas cinco que tenemos acá con el, el ejemplo de la número uno, que son seis. Luego vamos a hacer otras seis que tenemos porque son dos. So, ahorita traten de uh, poner el orden correcto, then we are going to write the correct order of the sentences.
Okay, let's see. We are going to write the number two. What is the first word or sentence that we are going to write in the beginning? My. My. My or while. Mm. In this sentence, Why? someone is talking about that uh, her sister is on holiday. And what is she doing? I am looking. Yes, I am looking. That's the beginning. I'm looking. That's the beginning of the sentence. I'm looking. I'm looking for what? What I am doing while my sister is on holiday. I'm looking my cat. My sister cat. Mm -hmm. Let's see. My sister's my sister's cat, but I am missing something uh, before my sister cat. I'm looking on holiday. Um my sister cat. We have here to uh, separate uh, words. I'm looking. After. after. After, that's good. After my sister cats. Then. How can, how can we say mientras in English? While. While, that's good. While, who? While she's on holiday. Uh huh. She is on holiday. That's good. I'm looking after my sister's cat while she is on holiday. Then we are going. This is. I think this is very easy. What is the beginning of this sentence? The number three. Please come and sit down. Please come. That's good. Please come. And sit down. Down. That's good. I'm going to change the color because we can be very confused with the sentence. Then the number four, no, number three, right? No, this is number four. What is the beginning of this one? Have. Have, have you, okay. Have you what? Checked. In. Checked. Checked. Uh-huh, in, right? In. Uh-huh. To your hotel. Yeah. To your hotel. Uh -huh. to, your to your hotel. Hotel. And someone said yeah. Right? Yet. Have you checked in your into your hotel yet? Um missing something. Okay. Have you checked into your hotel yet? That's good. Then we have the next one. What is the beginning of this one? We are talking Chris? about someone. Who? Chris. 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 Uh huh. What happened was, with Chris? Was born. Was born. Was born. Was born. Uh, where? In, in the, the United Kingdom. Okay, in the UK. But he. But he. Uh huh. He. But he. Yes. He grow up. Grow up. Grow up. Uh -huh. grow up. In Poland. In Poland. That's good. Okay, okay. Then the next one. My teacher. Okay. My chemistry. My? My teacher. I uh, before teacher. Well, chemistry. Uh-huh. Okay. 
Uh -huh, teacher. Was a clever man. Uh huh. Was a clever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But. Okay. But just that's... couldn't cope. Who? But children. But who? But, but children just. But, but uh, just couldn't cope with children. But we need a, a subject in this case. We need a pronoun. What is the pronoun? He maybe. Yes, he, but he just couldn't. Cope. Cope with children. Okay, that's good. Okay, my chemistry teacher was a clever man, but he just couldn't cope with children. Amazing, then we have six more. I'm going to write the six uh, left and then we are going to do the same with uh, this sentence. So let me see. I'm going to <laughs> write it, one, two, three, four, And six. Okay, we have the next sentence. Then we are going to uh, find the phrasal verb. So we have washing. So we have the next one that is the number eight. Number nine. <laughs> Number 10.
Number 11. Then the last one. The last column, we cannot see it, teacher. I am going to um, move the, the this this one because of the of the words. It seems like we can uh, see the last one. So let me have this okay. like this okay hard to, hard to run it over right so okay i think we can uh, do it like this Deal. Okay, there they are. Forever. Yes. Thank you. Okay, now the same, we have the sentences, then we are going to uh, find the correct or word order, then I'm going to ask for your help to um, write the sentence. So you have some time to read the sentence and find the correct order. So let's, let's see, we have some time right now.
Okay, I think you are ready and then we are going to do this last exercise. So we are in the number seven, right? What is the beginning of this one? Somebody? Okay, that's good. Somebody. Then? I suppose it is good, but I don't know if it is good. Someone, somebody needs. That's good. The, wash, the washing up, can you deal with it? Uh -huh. But in this case, we have the verb to. Mm. To. to do. Somebody needs to do uh, the washing up. That's correct. The wash. mm -hmm. Can you deal with it? Uh -huh. <laughs> That's good. Can you deal with it? That's correct. Then we have the next one. What is the beginning of this? We start the party at seven. Mm. But mm. we didn't turn up until eight. I'm going to write the party, but it Correct. is not, uh, I mean, it, the party is the of the the subject in this sentence. So the su the subject here is the party. That is the beginning. The party. Then we have the verb. That is what is the verb? Start. Uh huh. What time? At seven. Yes. At seven. Then we have pero in English. But but we. Uh -huh. But we. That we. Didn't turn up. That's good. Until and? eight. Okay, until eight. That's good. Okay. So the party started at seven, but we didn't turn up until A. That's good. This one. Who is the subject in this sentence? I am. Uh -huh. I'm planning. Uh -huh. I'm planning. What is the action that I am planning? I'm planning to go. To go. Uh, to go. Who? To all call friends. on some all friends. friends. All, all some friends. All friends. Some all friends. friends. Some all friends. friends. Good. All friends. While I'm in London. Uh -huh. While I am in London. Good. Then we have just two, three. This one. Who is the subject or what is the subject in this sentence? Who? The president. The okay, president. the president. president. President has announced the president, yes, has announced Hello. what <clears throat> elections. Mm, no, um, he has not, uh, he, he, he will not run, uh -huh. not, mm -hmm. will not run. Mm -hmm. For elections. Uh -huh. Again. 
But we are missing something. We are missing one word. No, we have one. Dad. Dad. Okay. That he will not run for election again. Then we have this one, number 11. Who is the subject? I. I. The verb? Didn't. No. Mm -hmm. Verb be in past? Didn't. Or am in past? Was. Was. I was. Oh. Yeah. I was. Uh, we are talking about time. I Girl. was late. Late. Uh huh. For my flight. Mm hmm. For my flight. Why? Why I didn't. When I am asking why, what is the, the answer? Because. 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 Uh -huh. because. I didn't. Mm -mm. Because. Go. My, uh, my alarm didn't. Uh -huh. My alarm uh -huh. didn't. Didn't. Go off. Go, Go off. off. That's good. And we have the last one. In this one, we are not uh, beginning with a subject. We are beginning with a word. We are using this for making questions. What is that word? What? 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 Uh -huh. Two. What? Two. Where to go? Mm -mm. What a terrible fail. That's good. Terrible. What a terrible film. 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 Mm. I... It seems. Uh -huh. It seems. It seems what? It seems. Two, two, or to go, to go on, go, fail, on, fail, fail, forever, 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 fail, forever, forever. What a terrible film! It seems to go on forever. Cuando algo nos parece o, o aburrido o que no nos gusta, sentimos que se hace eterno. That is the meaning of that sentence. Good. Now, uh, for these uh, sessions, I am um, going to begin in the session five minutes before the hour. So we can end the session five minutes before nine. Eh, vamos a iniciar las sesiones cinco minutos antes. No hay problema si no pueden enterrar cinco minutos antes de la hora. Eh, yo voy a comenzar siempre a esa hora. Para terminar cinco minutos antes, porque después tengo otro grupo. So, now okay. it's time to end the session. Así que en la otra semana vamos a comenzar de lunes a jueves. Esta semana era porque hemos comenzado el día jueves. Y eh, trabajamos viernes, pero la otra semana es de lunes a jueves. So, we are going to see each other on Monday. So, see you on Monday. Have a really good night. Thank you. The same for you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Recording stop.